Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I want to do a reading on the jury of the Karen Reed trial. There are rumors going around that perhaps Brian Albert. I wouldn't even call this part a rumor that he showed up at the courthouse and was just staring at them very weirdly. I thought it was weird. And so I want to do a reading to see what exactly... Oh, it's this thing. I couldn't tell what was, like, sticking out. What's going on? Like, was there a compromised jury... Um, I think there were 12 people we could do it by seat, but I can't remember if there were 12 or 8, so we'll just do just on the jury as a whole. So what are, I've already, I just cleared it, but set sacred space, called in the quarters, and my intention is to figure out if there was anything fishy going on with the jury. As a human with ears and eyes the evidence was so overwhelming and if you didn't think so then perhaps this isn't the right place for you oh welcome my name's kate this is all allegedly for entertainment purposes only no facts here i'm just a chick with a tarot deck i want to know what if the jury was rigged i feel like somebody was compromised and the reason i feel like that is because literally I'm so glad I wasn't sitting in the courtroom for a number of reasons one of them was like how John's mom drank the Kool-Aid and I thought it was disgusting and I felt I started with I felt bad for them obviously but then after hearing the crash daddies that's what these two arc guys were called I don't think they could use the name of the FBI but and they couldn't use the name of the FBI I mean, it was, it was such a slam dunk. Like, she didn't hit him, so it couldn't have been murder, which means all the other charges were. But they were a hung jury. So she, so Judge Bev called it a mistrial. I just did a reading on Judge Bev, and my only advice to Judge Bev is get your affairs in order. So now I want to know what's going on with this jury. Were they compromised? The intention I'm going to set is to check in with the jury at the Karen Reed trial and see if there was any funny business going on with the jurors or one juror or something. Got the D card. <laughs> oh boy, lots of cups. Someone was emotional. They were hanging around. Oh boy, we have the 10, 9, and 8 of cups. That must mean something. Well, here's El Diablo. And El Diablo, oh hi, welcome. If you're in the bleachers, I don't have a certain number of cards that I always pull. I just pull what feels right intuitively. And I also don't read this deck in reverse. And El Diablo... Could be a Capricorn man, or and we have the Empress. Oh boy! Oh boy! There's lots of money here. Okay. Yikes! You know what I should have done is just ask straight up, yes, no. Was, was there a jerk? I'm gonna. Man. I mean, this is saying. Somebody was emotional. We have a Queen of Cups and a Knight of Cups. We also have 8, 9, 10. All we're missing is the Page. Somebody was emotional or an addiction. Maybe they were struggling with an addiction. Mm, money exchanged hands. The Empress is here. We have this Thief. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, money exchanged hands. Oh, boy. And... Apparently, I'm not the first person to think of this. 
um, because the feds are already looking into it. This always comes for our decision makers on the Idaho 4 case. People are seeing between the lines, they're staying up at night. And Hierophant has always meant the light side, the, the good guys, the feds, who are already investigating this. It's like common knowledge. And they told the prosecution that that's what they were doing. So I... Um, the amount of money here, yeah, money exchanged hands 100%. They made an offer, got paid. The Empress is here. The Empress is married to the Emperor, who is the dark side. I mean, if we had any doubt, here's El Diablo, straight up. He just wants us to know that he's here. I can hear my family outside. Oh boy. And we have a thief. Uh, someone who made a deal with the devil. And we have an empress here. Yeah, someone made a deal. I want to do yes, no's and just. I mean, we can clear this. There's a lot of money, tons of money. Someone was hanging around, debating it, took the money. El Diablo is here, and so is the government. And I'm guessing they're not sleeping very well. Because I'm also guessing that if we are getting this, the government's way ahead of us. That was stupid. I'm going to get the deck. To just check the yes or no's. I don't really know why we're doing this. I guess we could figure out how many of them. Somebody definitely made it. I mean, I don't even know what kind of laws those are. But we're talking federal. And they ran background checks on them and stuff. So we'll do a yes no. I mean... Someone paid a lot of money. I wonder if that was to Judge Bev. I thought I cleared the energy. I literally just did a reading on Auntie Bev. You might have a dual reading right now. All right, so the question that we're going to ask is, did someone on the jury make a deal? If we get no, I'm going to ask about the judge. I should probably just do it for both of them anyway. Did anyone, did someone on the jury, the I think so just jumped, and it is likely and for sure are all right here. Um, I'll put those guys back. We just got three yeses. I didn't even get it out. Did someone on the jury get it compromised? Uh, signs point to yes, and I'm tired. Ask me later. So, yeah, someone did. Well, there's a ton of money, tons of money. You just got like nine, ten, and the Knight of Pentacles with El Diablo. Signs point yes, so the jury got compromised. I want to know about the judge, too. Did the judge get compromised? Did the judge in the Karen Reed case was made, did she make a deal with the devil? Did she make a deal? Or did she is she compromised? Yep, you got it. Well, that confirms the reading I just did. Maybe I'll just put these together. Because I just literally did a reading on Auntie Bev and I got that she Oh, boy. No matter how bad of a day you're having, you're not having as bad of a day as they are in Canton. Oh, I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps and I'm like hot. 
Well, I should put, just put those two readings together because I just did a reading on Auntie Bev and I got that she perhaps made a deal with the devil as well and the feds were onto it. I just got that the jury was compromised. Someone in the jury made a deal and made a ton of money. Do we care what the, I mean, like, how, how would you do it? I guess you could do blackmail or money. I wonder if it was worth going to jail over because you just spent two months of your life and you threw it. But it's a woman. I can see, like, a woman. That doesn't really narrow it down because I don't know how many people are on it, but. I know those are felonies. I know that. And tampering with evidence, prosecutory misconduct, that's all feds. And the feds are here. Well, so that's going to be a tough day. I literally just said, too, that the feds, they don't have to rush investigations. They have all the time and money that in the world. They have a 98% success rate when prosecuting, probably because a lot of people plead out. Uh, but things are not looking good in the Canton area. They're looking good for Karen Reed and for the light side. It's a good way to look at it. Well, maybe we could do a, a reading on Turtle Boy. He has a... <laughs> Bro, if, whether you like him or not, let's leave our own opinions to ourselves, everyone. Has an opinion, I'm sure. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just combine those two readings because I thought I cleared the energy, but apparently there was some more to talk about. Well, I feel like I'm almost speechless. I think I knew, like intuitively I knew. I just like didn't believe it or something. Someone is in big trouble. There's a lot of people in a lot of trouble down there right now. I mean, committing perj perjury is also a felony. And they got caught red-handed a number of times. Oh, I also saw a video by a guy who was a behavioral analyst for the feds. And he proves that it was Higgins. I can, I'll put a clip in here for you guys. It was an, I don't know if he had the intention of killing him, obviously. I don't think so. I think it was just a fight. I think what he hit his head on was this plow behind Higgins' truck, or on Higgins' truck. That's what this guy explains. So, no matter how bad of a day you're having, it's better than Auntie Bev, and this juror that sold their soul to the devil, Guys, we know how it ends. It never ends well. So I'm going to pause you guys. We could do one on Turtle Boy. He calls himself an award-winning journalist. I actually think this is kind of funny. He calls himself an award-winning journalist because he won, like, an award in 11th grade. <laughs> but he, I have to give him credit. He's done all the work and... I just think that's kind of funny. I think it's pretty funny, very funny. I was in Forbes. <laughs> um, so, I have more questions, though. I want to know, like, who, who's blackmailing, or buying them off? Hmm. And Turtle Boy has his own case coming up and it's all the same players there's a little girl her name was Stephanie she was groomed during one of the police explorer programs she died and the same bad actors were involved in her suicide it has been since changed to murder if I was that prosecutor I would sneak out with my tail between my legs and call it a day. This is not going to end well for anyone down there. <clears throat> I 
guess we could do Michael. His name's, I thought his name was, he's disgusting too, but I, I feel like I'm at a loss for words. I don't really know what to say. Things aren't going to end well for the dark side down there. And I can't wait till it happens for our boy in Idaho. What just happened? That was intense. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you. I'm going to just do another one. I want to see what Turtle Boy, they, he is annoying. I'll be honest. But, I mean, he he's not annoying. He does his, his style is not mine. But. He's good at what he does. He's good at research. He blew the whistle on this and blew it all up. He literally dropped like an atomic bomb on this entire, I wouldn't even call it a case. I would call it a frame job. So I will, I want to check in on Turtle Boy. He has a court coming up. I am telling that prosecutor right now, don't do it. You are, he's already, in, you are in deep trouble. I'm going to find, I'm going to pause you guys. And um, figure out what this prosecutor... It's not Lally. Lally's a puppet. And Lally's just as guilty. I mean, he lied a number of times. He might be a, a witness, too. Because one of the cops, whether you believe him or not, said that he and Lally were alone. <laughs>